doing this, we're not benefiting from any of the network effect of the internet. Uh, the ability for people to point to, recommend, share uh, anything they want to about your program. We'll come back to that point in a minute. So, um, until about seven, eight months ago, only 20% of our TV programs had any sort of online representation. Uh, that was pretty uneven, largely hand-cranked, so very resource-intensive. Um, now, every program we do has a website. Every episode of every program we do has a unique page on the web. And every one of those pages is permanent. Um, and they're automated, thereby freeing up significant amounts of resource for us to throw elsewhere. Now, these pages were about as basic as you can get at the beginning, because uh, they're fed from all the program information, all the metadata that's flying around different systems in the BBC. So, this was uh, an exciting page to support uh, that boring show, Daleks in Manhattan, <laughs> Doctor Who. Uh, but things have moved on a pace. Um, we were able to add in the ability to watch that program while it was in iPlayer. And it automatically, <coughs> it automatically disappears. If it's repeated, it goes back into there. Um, and we got credits information in there. Uh, basic at first, but we're getting this richer and richer and richer. Um, not something that tens of thousands of people are going to go to any individual page to see. But tens of thousands of people may have those questions. Who was that? What were they in? What else were they in? Etc. And that's what we're trying to satisfy here. Um, the pages started getting richer. We added a new layer of design across a whole lot. And broadcast information, some sort of horizontal navigation, genre categories across our whole portfolio. Uh, we've now managed to brand everything according to the originating channel, so they're getting richer and richer. And where we've got a, a, a bigger program website, and I'll talk about some of those in a minute, we're able to sort of reskin, design all of these pages to fit within the sort of uh, the design of, say, Spring Watch or Last Quiet Standing or Britain's Top Model, but all fed off exactly the same system uh, and um, with a level of standardization. Uh, in design and functionality and features. Um, and just a recent one we've done, we've added in the ability as well, because of course when this program isn't available in iPlay, you get a sort of ugly old no program available message. Uh, we're increasingly adding in the ability to put clips in there, short duration clips, which we can keep up far longer than um, uh, long play uh, windows, etc. And we're making them embeddable so people can then take them, put them in their own sites, share them with their friends, help do some of our viral marketing for us. Um, our ambition to these pages are much bigger. This is the basic one for Tesla the Durbervilles. I'm not going to go into detail on it because uh, it shows bits of our strategy in here, but and I'm not quite prepared to share all of it. But um, <coughs> our ambition for uh, a program like Tess. Uh, which is um, you know, uh, one of our key programs, but not necessarily something that we want to hand crank a very major 360 program around. Thread some of the principles that are underpinning social networking through it. Ability to rate, tag, comment, uh, recommend, etc. Uh, get a bit richer with our linking across BBC Co UK and off BBC Co UK so that when we spark someone's interest in say, Hardy, uh, we can feed them off to stuff we've got on our site or off, uh, and just get a bit visually richer around some of these you know, beautifully shot dramas, so that castlets, for example, might actually show a picture of the cast member rather than just text. So we think that individually, these pages are going to satisfy thousands, tens of thousands of individual searches day in, day out. Um, one example I'm crying out for, and I'm talking to the team today, we're going to start being able to implement this this year, is the music that was in the show. Uh, I was watching Charlie Brooker's Scream right the other night. Have you watched that? Absolutely awesome program, BBC Four. Um, and uh, really cool soundtrack in the background. I had no idea what it was, it didn't come up in the credits. I want these pages to tell me. I want to know automatically. I can go there and find out what that was. So individually, great. 
but it's collectively that we start to get really excited about it. Because, okay, we've been running it in beta and, uh, and behind the scenes for about a year. And there's 200,000 of these pages, episode pages, for the first time starting to capture true scale and impact of a BBC across not just television but radio, not just nationally but locally and internationally as well. And it starts to make our entire portfolio of stuff findable and this is a word probably, <coughs> interconnectable, uh, thereby enabling us to take people on journeys across our stuff. And increasingly, we're going to hand over the ability to production teams to uh, take control of bits of these pages uh, and uh, put their own external links in and all that kind of stuff. Um, and going back to that sort of permanence, <coughs> I, I, I'm sure I'm teaching many in the room to suck eggs, but part of the basic physics of the web is that permanence thing. If you keep putting stuff up and taking it down, and anyone who's linked to you, anyone who's left a comment on your site, anyone who's rated you, anyone who's sent a recommendation to a friend, you're delivering them all broken links. And Google and other search engines spot you when you're doing that and start to push you down the rankings. So we think this will benefit the whole of BBC. Uh, 